What's up, everybody? Lockout men here in the truck. Yo, we about to get this load that's uh, heading up to Wisconsin, man. Yo, man, yo, man. I, I, I really, really needed this reset, man. This, this reset came right on point. about to get up out of here man we about to get up out of here so let me let me tell you a little bit about my uh let me tell you a little bit about my day right quick about my day man listen so let me tell you guys something man this weekend was freaking awesome i got first thing first man when i came home i shot straight to the dmv straight to the dmv and said, let me go ahead and head to the DMV and knock out my tankers endorsements, which I have gotten. Yes, sir. Gotten them. See, right now they gave me this piece of paper right here that I need to keep on me while I'm driving until they send me my actual license in the mail. Now, here is some tips that you guys are going to need to know, especially if you're if you're drivers like my if you're a driver like myself. Truck drivers, I'm going to implore you that when you go and get your, any, in, well, new drivers as well. So let me start at the beginning. So for new drivers, uh, veteran drivers that's renewing their license or getting, or drivers that's updating their license with new endorsements, I'm going to implore you to get the federal compliant license. The new so-called compliant cards look the same as the current licenses, except the compliant card has a star in the upper right. To renew a standard card, all you need is your current license, as long as it isn't expired for more than six months. For the compliant card, you have to provide all the required documents for a first-time issuance of a driver's license, plus an additional proof of residence. As for the compliant cards, all of the documents have to have the same exact legal name with no misspellings, initials, or abbreviations, and that's particularly important to know if you use both your maiden and married name. Both cards allow you to prove your identity for things like buying alcohol, getting social services, registering to vote, and of course allowing you to drive. And they'll continue to be valid for four years, requiring a new photograph with every new renewal. They will also cost the same. But starting in October of 2020, the standard card cannot be used to fly or enter federal facilities without additional documentation approved by the TSA or feds, like a passport. But here's the change affecting both the standard and compliant cards. While you'll still have to go to the BMV to get your card, you won't leave with that new card. Instead, you'll get a temporary one while your new one is getting processed. The permanent card will be mailed to you within about 10 days. I implore you to do that is because some of these companies, they will fly you to their orientation. If you don't have a federal compliant license by next year, you're going to need your birth certificate and you're going to need a passport to board these planes now. They ain't playing, man. They ain't playing. They ain't playing with you no more. So with your federal compliance license, you won't even have to worry about all that because when you get on a plane, you just show your license and you're good to go. But it's always good to have a passport anyway. So I think when I'm, when I'm coming back, I think a passport is like a bill 50 or something like that. But when I come back, I'm going to get my passport. That's, that's the next thing I'm going to get. When you go to renew your license, man, make sure it's, and I'm talking for the residents of Ohio. So if you're an Ohio uh, truck driver, 
This is what you're going to need, man. You're going to need... This is what you're going to need when you get there. All right? You're going to need to bring your birth certificate. You're going to need to bring your ID, of course. And you're going to need two forms of residency. And you're going to need your social security card. So if you don't have your birth certificate, definitely go down to City Hall and grab one. If you don't have your... Uh, social security card definitely go to the social security office uh on my side of town is over here off it's in the collinwood district off 152nd uh make sure you go and get that uh after you get that then you can go ahead and make sure you get two forms of residency now a lot of us truck drivers don't have permanent residency that make sure that it's correct because they're going to use all the information so if your name if you're going by nikki all right and your name is nicholas yeah make sure you 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 get that change all right i'm just saying i'm just saying they did say that you know a lot of you guys is coming out in the truck driving field it's actually it's a real article about that it is. It's a real article. It's in the Rolling Stone. Nick and uh, Carla, they was featured in that article, man. So they, they coming out. They coming out. They coming out into this field, man. So get ready. Get ready, veterans. Get ready, old schools. They, you know, the new generation of truck drivers is coming. What's up, man? Say what? LaShawn. LaShawn. There you go. You know what? Another thing with uh, with Campbell's is that they jack these trailers up so freaking high. I'm not about to go out here and break my back for this thing. I'm about to find a yard dog, yard guy, have him to come over, jack up the trailer. What's going on, Trooper? Can I get you to come around and raise up a trailer for me? It's right where you come around. It's that Shrugal. It's Shrugal Trailer 91902. 1082. Right, right around, right when you come around the corner, you'll see it. Oh, you see that truck right there? Right across the way, right there, that, that Bowers truck? This is how motherfuckers be acting. I'm, I'm sorry to be cussing. So, I'm right here. This where I'm at. Right here, right? So, to make it a little bit easy for me, because see, once I back up to that trailer right there, I am going to come out and go this way. So brother man went over there to ask him like, yo, can you like move? I'm, I'm swinging around that way. So can you move just about an inch, maybe a couple of inches down? You know what I'm saying? So he gonna look at me all crazy and stuff and be like, yo, uh, I'm, off du I'm on off duty so I can't move. Yes, you can. You can move. You can, you can move a couple of feet down. It's not going to affect your clock, you know, but hey, what do you what do you do? What do you do about situations like that when drivers don't want to give you no type of courtesy at all? So what do you do? You just do you just make Lock do out what you do. in the truck. What's going on? L.O.M. community, man. Look. I want you guys to peep out this video that I just that was just sent to me right quick. I'm going to probably put it up right here, right here, somewhere along the lines. And I want you guys to peep this out, man. A lot of a lot of unfortunate situations going on in the trucking world right now. And I just want to bring this information out to you guys so that you guys know, you know, for you new jacks when y'all come out here, this is the type of experience that you guys going to 
we're going to get into, man. You know, uh, fortunately, you got guys like myself uh, and other channels and Facebook, you know, to bring this type of information to you because, you know, you you're getting into something that you probably might not understand. You know what I'm saying? So this video right here, man, I'm about to I'm about to watch it very quick. I'm about to I'm about to watch. It. Okay, so that's crazy. Y'all see that? Y'all see that, right? That was crazy. I mean, it was like the truck was just going too fast for the condition. He didn't. I, he couldn't even see the car, oncoming car coming when he saw the jackknife and and smashed right into the car. Towards the end of the video, y'all, it looked like he pulled away from the car and and just took off and just left the car there. Man, I. I'm telling you, man, these drivers, man, y'all. All right, we so we made it back to the truck. I had to turn around and switch mics. Uh, the one mic, I guess the battery was going out and I had to switch it up. My man, Carlos, sent me this uh, information about this truck driver being ticketed for being illegally parked off the side of the road while taking this 10 hour. But while taking this 10 hour, a family of four smashed right into the back of the truck. Three of the people died and one is in critical condition. But even though the, the car veered off the side of the road and smashed right in the back of the truck, the California if I'm not mistaken, CHP is saying that if the truck wasn't there, the accident wouldn't have happened. But really though, I mean, think about it. Let's say if the truck wasn't there, the car still would have veered off the side of the road and ran off the road and ran into something, right? So basically what they're saying is, is that if the truck wasn't there, the accident probably wouldn't have happened, right? A tragic scene on an East Bay freeway. Three siblings killed when their family's minivan slammed into the back of a parked big rig. As KPX 5's John Ramos reports, they crashed into something that never should have been on the side of the road. It is a bitter irony, but the accident may have happened because a truck driver was trying too hard to follow highway safety rules. The accident happened here, where Interstate 80 curves from Emeryville into the Toll Plaza area. A minivan carrying two brothers and two sisters, ages ranging from 17 to 26 years, veered to the right and slammed head-on into a semi-truck parked on the shoulder of the freeway. So why was the truck parked there? The driver of the big rig had pulled over to uh, get some rest. Apparently he was sleeping when the collision happened. By state law, truck drivers are only allowed to drive so many hours and then must rest for a prescribed period of time. The driver told officers he pulled over on the freeway because he was afraid he was going to exceed his hours. 
He could have driven another quarter mile and taken the off-ramp to Maritime Drive at the Port of Oakland, but despite the fact there are hundreds of semis in that area, there is almost nowhere to park there either. Like yesterday, somebody got a ticket just to park in, uh, for a, less than two minutes. He got a ticket. Oscar Sanchez is a local driver, but he says the long haulers struggle to find a place where they can get some shut-eye. So sometimes if you come here in the weekends, you'll find uh, people that come from out of state sleeping in the middle of the street because there's no, there's no parking. He says a designated sleeping lot for truckers would help and perhaps might have prevented such a tragedy. And the CHP says this morning's accident proves that, despite being illegal, stopping on the freeway for anything other than an emergency can be deadly. We consider it like a bullet. You have a two-ton bullet going past... So let me just stop it right here. Um, I, I read the article, but now, after watching the video with you guys, I, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with uh, the officer in this situation. I mean, the 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 accident would have probably still happened. It wouldn't have been as severe if the truck wasn't there, you know. But these. These electronic logs, man, it just makes a driver's job a little bit more difficult than what it needs to be, you know? But here's a tip for you guys. If you have to violate your hours of service to get to a safe haven, do it, man, because it's not worth it. It really isn't. You, if you're pulled to the side of the road, you never know who's driving it. The CHP says the moral of this tragic story is that it's better to risk a parking ticket on a side road than to kill or be killed parking on the freeway. That is a sad state of affairs. If they pursue that truck driver for being uh, for being on the side of the road uh, during that accident, of course some some slap happy lawyer is going to take the case and they're going to probably they they're going to probably win all i could just say is take about an hour to an hour and a half out of your time all right take that time to start looking for adequate parking i could tell you right now in some states uh being that the way the way the weather is right now some states, uh, truck stops fill up at about four o'clock. Luckily, right here, I'm at South Beloit. There's plenty of parking here. Just take the time to start looking for adequate uh, parking spots. Get yourself a Ram and Nally if you don't have uh, if you don't have a GPS. In the Ram and Nally, you can actually go in here, hit points of interest, and then my route and then hit travel centers, it basically brings up all the travel centers within your route. You know what I'm saying? So if you plan accordingly, if you take about an hour to an hour and a half out of your, out of the time, then you could start, you know, planning like within, say within the next 2.4 miles, the next 12 miles. So you figure like within the next half hour, you're going to, Within the next half an hour, I will be there. So I will start my countdown right there. So I will go into that truck stop right there. And I will look and see how much spots is in there. If that's full, I still got time on my clock to go down to the next one and then go down to the next one. So hopefully that tip will work out for you, man. You got drivers. You do got drivers out here that are real assholes, though, for real. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 it's, it's not a, it's not a brotherhood out here no more, man. It really isn't. It's not a brotherhood out here no more. And we need to get that back, drivers. We need to get that brotherhood back, man. So, 
Look, y'all stay safe. Watch your sits and your 12. I just want you guys to be cool, be safe, watch yourself, and, uh, and pay attention to, uh, to your surroundings, all right? Talk about it and all like that. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell on the way out the door, man. And don't forget the coffees, man, because I'm thirsty. I'm gone, I ain't coming back But you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be running back Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone